Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this week. Today I'd like to deal with an issue concerning Israel and the Middle East that's getting a lot of airtime today, uh, especially with regard to Christians. And that has to do with the time and place in the grand scheme of things of uh, the battle of Psalm 83. Psalm 83 is a prayer of, of, of Asaph. And Asaph is uh, probably a contemporary of David. He's a musician, a choral director. and uh, But Psalm 83 is a prayer of Asaph. And he's concerned about the nations that surround Israel, that they be defeated. And there are many of the nations actually that are listed here are Muslim nations around Israel today. <clears throat> but he has an ultimate goal that would help to define when this battle would take place. Let me read the first few verses. <clears throat> Psalm 83, verse 1, O God, do not keep silent. Be not quiet, O God. Be not still. See how your enemies are astir, how your foes rear their heads. With cunning they conspire against your people. <clears throat> they plot against those you cherish. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation, that the name of Israel be remembered no more. With one mind they plot together. They form an alliance against you. Against who? Against Israel? No, against God, the God of Israel. That's who they're really against. And then Asaph goes ahead to number, name many of the nations that he's calling uh, for God to intervene and defeat, uh, calling for a massive, monumental defeat of those enemies. But then he comes to the reason, the ultimate result that he wants to see come out of this magnificent defeat by God of these enemies, of his enemies. He says in verse 16, of these enemies. Cover their faces with shame so that men will seek your name, O Lord. Now, pop quiz. Is Lord the name of Israel's God? Say no. You're right. The name of Israel's God, the name of our God, the name by which the nations, the world universally will recognize him is Yahweh. <clears throat> Cover their faces with shame so that men will seek your name, O Yahweh. May they ever be ashamed and dismayed. May they perish in disgrace. Let them know that you, whose name is Yahweh, that you alone are the most high over all the earth. That's what Asaph wants to see happen with the defeat of all these enemies that are surrounding Israel. Now, I would suggest to you that if that battle would to occur today, Asaph's ultimate result would not take place. Why? Because the nations don't know what his name is. The Jews refer, re, refuse to uh, speak his name out of a sense of reverence. I think it's a misguided sense of reverence, but it is uh, to reverence his name. The world doesn't know. Most Christians don't even know what the name of God. It's Yahweh. And that's the name that will be exalted and magnified worldwide. Listen to what uh, Malachi says. <clears throat> Malachi chapter 1, and God is speaking here. He says, My name will be great among the nations from the rising to the setting of the sun. In every place, incense and pure offerings will be brought to my name. Because my name will be great among the nations, says Yahweh Almighty. His name will be universally praised, exalted, magnified at some point. I would suggest to you that that is a last days, that is an end time phenomenon. It's yet to happen. There are a lot of battles, a lot of things that are to take place before that happens, but you can be sure that the name of Yahweh will be exalted ultimately. It's coming.
It's coming. It may be soon. Till next week, Od Ki Yavo Shilo, or until Messiah comes, Shalom Alechem, Yavarecha Yahweh, God bless you.